Okay, we're on to 1-7, distributive property and like terms. The reason these are combined is the book likes you to use distributive property when adding like terms. And I'll just show you the easy way to do it. Okay, so distributive property says if you have A times a quantity of B plus C, you have to take that A and distribute it. So if you're handing money to your friends, you give it to everybody. So A times B and A times C. And that's what you end up with. If there's a subtraction sign in there, it would still take A times B, which is AB, minus, and then your A times C. So when we have... 9 times the quantity 1 plus 3d. We take 9 times 1, 1, which is 9. Put down our plus sign. 9 times 3d. All we do is multiply the numbers. 9 times 3 is 27, and we include the d. So this number in front of the d is called your coefficient. 9 times 3 is 27 D. We can also go backwards from this form to the factored form. So if I look at 6X plus 2, well, 6 is 2 times 3X. 2 is 2 times 1, so there's a factor of 2 in common that I can factor out. When I move it in front, I put parentheses write the remainder of 3x and the 1 inside with the plus sign. If this had been a minus, the only difference is that plus would be a minus, and you would have factored out. So look at your terms, factor them, write down what multiplies to give you the number. If there's a whole number, the only multiple is 1, so write it down so that when you take away the 2, you can see what is left. If you start with two terms, you have to end up with two terms inside your parentheses. You cannot end with one. So you'd end up with 2 times the quantity 3x plus 1. When we have fractions, remember if you add fractions, they had to have like terms. You add the numerator and put it over the denominator. So when they have a fraction, four y minus 12 is divided by two. You can divide it from the combination back to the two separate. So I can go four y divided by two minus the 12 divided by two. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and you would include the y minus 12 divided by 2 is 6, and you would have your answer. I think that's easier, but there are times that, especially once we get to Algebra 2, Advanced Algebra, that you have to factor out what is in common before you can divide it. So if we look at the 4y, that is 2 times 2. The 12, I'm going to have to turn that that way, is 2 times 6. So it has the 2 in common. So we would write it as, using distributive property, the 2 parentheses and the remainder 2y and the 6 all over 2, and then we can cancel these 2's and have the 2y minus 6. We will use that a lot in the future, so it's nice to get used to it now. Are like terms, to be a like term, they have the same variable factors. If I look at a variable of 2x, 2 is the coefficient. I used that word before. Coefficient, the number 
in front of the variable. And the variable is just the letter. So in this case, x. So if they have the same variable term, we can add those like terms. And all we have to do is add the coefficient and carry the variable. So at 2x plus 7x, I go 2 plus 7 is 9, carry the x. The book would like us to factor out the x and go 2 plus 7 and use the distributive property to then go 2 plus 7 is the 9x. You're kind of doing that, but you aren't writing anything official because you're just taking the 2 plus 7 and then writing the x next to it. You're doing that same process, but in a little easier terms. And that's all I have for 1-7. 1-8 is the in introduction to equations. So with equations, that's when we have our equal sign. We can have a true sentence that is always true, like 14 plus 7 minus 2 equals 19. So 14 plus 7 is 21 minus 2 is 19. So that statement is always true. A false statement is always false. Like 14 plus 7 minus 2, we already found out it was 19. So if it says it equals 21, that would be false. But we can have open sentence. And an open sentence can be true or false depending on the value of the variable. So in these, we're going to have a variable. 3 plus x equals 7. So immediately you all are thinking the value of x is 4. And that would make it true, because 3 plus 4 equals 7. But maybe they gave us that the value was 5, and we'd have a false statement. And that is why it's called an open statement, because you don't know which one you're going to use right now. And then they want you to solve using mental math. So if you're looking at an equation, 0 is equal to 4 plus 2y. I know I would have to have 4 minus 4 to equal 0. So my 2y would have to be negative 4, and I can realize that y would have to be negative 2. And you just solve it in your head. Right now we're not going to do all the steps. And that ends 1-8.